Hello, my name is Ellen with Ellen Estelle, and today I'm going to be showing you a vintage pattern haul. Now, I found these patterns on Facebook Marketplace. I found a woman whose mom had passed away and she was looking for a good home for her patterns. Originally, when she posted this, she said she had over 400 patterns, but when I went to go pick them up, I had about 75. The majority of these patterns are Butterick from the 1980s. So I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So first we're gonna start with a few designer patterns. I have a few here that are from Evan Pacone. This one is a woman's dress with a, with a really big shoulder and yoke. I, I guess it's like a yoke and shoulder combination accent with the ruffle. Um, it says it's a loose fitting dress um, with a neck slit with a button and thread loop, elastic waist, side pockets, and full length sleeves, tie and belt. Very 80s. This one's another Evan Pacone. This one doesn't have the date on it. I'm gonna guess this one's more 90s. It's a woman's blazer and skirt. It says it's semi-fitted, lined, uh, above hit jacket with a notch collar, slightly extended shoulders, shoulder pads, side panels with no side seams, and full length two-piece sleeves and button trim. And this other one I have here is a woman's dress. It is a loose fitting dress below the mid knee and has mock welt pockets um, and handkerchief elastic waist, side pockets, and elbow or full length sleeves gathered with button cuffs. I have one here from Katherine Conover. So Mrs. Dress. <clears throat> it's a dress with below mid calf, has close fitting line, low waist bodice with princess seams, slightly flared, pleated skirt, uh, back zipper, and shorter elbow length sleeves. Look at those 80 sleeves. And then I have a few here from Richard Warren. There's some from Richard and David Warren. This first one's here is Mrs. Dress with a lot of pleating. I noticed a lot of his have uh, pleating detail. So it's a dress below mid knee, has a collar on the band, shoulder pads, loose fitting, tucked front blouse, uh, elastic waist, slightly flared pleated skirt, back zipper, above elbow or long sleeves, pleated at cap with sleeve stiffening and button cuffs and shaped belt. A lot of details going on here. Another Richard Warren. This is actually a pretty cute uh, jacket. I, I can see how that would translate now. I think it'd be really cute. It's a semi-fitted top with a notch collar, shoulder pads, pocket, flared, self-lined peplum. Three-quarter length sleeves with pleats and button cuffs. And it also has a hanky on the A and C views. Um, skirt is below mid-knee or low calf and has a waistband and back zipper. And then another Richard Warren. It's another dress and it has loose fitting dress below mid knee, has a stand collar, double breasted button clothes, elastic waist with pleat side pockets, three quarter or full length sleeves pleated with button cuffs. A lot of details, a lot of button cuffs. Another Richard Warren with this pleating here. Um, it's a top and a skirt. So it has a uh, top fitted through the bus, has collar variations, shoulder puffs, back, button closing and above elbow or long sleeves with pleated cap and button cuffs. And it says it has these front tucks here. And then another Richard Warren with these tucks or these pleats. And it says it's a loose fitting top, has a jewel neckline, shoulder pads, front tucks, lower band, back button close with a elbow or long sleeve with stiffening at caps, pleats and button cuffs. It has a blouse and skirt option. And then here's a David Warren pattern. This is a Mrs. Dress with a below mid knee or below mid calf or lower calf, a loose fitting blue sawn bodice, elastic waist, a dirndl skirt, back zipper, and above elbow length lined sleeves with stay. This is a JG hook pattern. It's a Mrs. Petite Dress. It's below mid calf or lower calf, has a collar on the band, slightly extended shoulders, shoulder pads, yoke, with forward shoulder seam, very loose fitting, loose on bodice, with concealed button closing, elastic waist, flared skirt, and one-way front pleat, side pockets, and elbow or long sleeves with button cuffs. 
So a lot of these have a lot of fullness from very popular with the 80s. Um, a lot of fullness, big shoulders, big sleeves, big skirts, everything was bigger in the 80s. And here's a designer you might recognize. I have a couple of Ellen Tracy patterns. This one's falling apart a little bit. It's a uh, Mrs. Shirt, Vest, and Skirt. So it's very loose fitting shirt with a notch collar, drop shoulders, back pleated into yoke with forward shoulder seams, side slits, pockets, short sleeves or long sleeves with placket, pleats and button cuffs, narrow hem, very loose fitting unlined vest, has extended shoulders, low cutaway armholes, welt pockets, back tab, and shaped hemline. A-line wrap skirt below mid calf has a waistband and side front pockets. And then this Ellen Tracy, this one might be pretty cute. I mean, it's very oversized and loose fitting, but it's a Mrs. Top and Skirt. Loose fitting top has notch collar, drop shoulders, and shoulder and long sleeves rolled up, wrong side shows. Narrow hem, A, view A, has pockets and cap sleeves with mock bands, flared pleated skirt, mid or lower calf, has a waistband, walt pockets, and side button clothing. Closing. This one doesn't have a date on it, but from, if I had to guess, a lot of these patterns were from 1985 or 1986, very specifically. So I'm going to guess it's mid 80s. A few of these are designers that I haven't heard of. I'm not sure if they're in business anymore, but I have a couple from Belle France. This one is a very peasanty blue sun dress. It's a dress with a below mid calf, has a jewel neckline, semi fitted bodice, pleated in two shaped. Line midriff, flared skirt, side pockets, back zipper, and above elbow or four full length sleeves pleated at cap. And then another bell France. This one looks a little maternity to me. I would go here with the bell option. It's a very loose fitting dress with a mid calf length, has a double flounce collar, front pleats, back gathers, front and back yoke, Button back, side pockets, full length or short sleeves gathered with elastic at lower edge and tie belt. Another Belle France. This one's a, I'm going to butcher this, Jean Nedech, Nedech for Claudia Cooper. Um, this one's pretty cute. It's a Mrs. Dress, below mid calf or lower calf, has a collar, shoulder pads, very loose fitting, blue sun blouse, forward shoulder seams, Elastic seamed waist, A-line pleated skirt, side pockets, and above elbow or long sleeve with button cuffs. A lot of long sleeve or with button cuffs going on here in the 80s. And this one's Catherine Conover. I actually like this dress. I think this would be really cute. It's a dress with a mid-calf or below mid-calf. Has fitted pleated bodice, shoulder pads, shaped bias midriff, A-line pleated skirt, back zipper, and above elbow or three-quarter sleeves. Now this is the oldest pattern. It's a 1977 pattern and it's a Mrs. Blazer. This is a Mrs. Blazer skirt and pant. It's a double breasted blazer with optional lining, has a notch collar, patch pockets, two piece sleeve with button trim and skirt has a back zipper. Pants have a button waistband and zipper in front opening. And here's a similar design. This is from a simplicity pattern. This is just a blazer. It's a single and double breasted lined jacket. The jacket has princess seams, long two piece set in sleeves with a vent and button trim, notch collar and optional hand or machine top stitching. This one's kind of cute. I actually like this jacket. I like how it has a little peplum. It's a Mrs. Petite jacket, skirt and blouse. Fit and flared lined hip length jacket has extended shoulders, shoulder pads, side front and skirt back and side back seams, has and long sleeves, straight skirt below mid knee, has waistband, back zipper, and hemline vent. Loose fitting pullover blouse has slightly extended shoulders, back neck slip, and button loop and long sleeves with button pleat. This one's from 1986. This one could be cute. I think it just depends on the fabric that you choose. Obviously it's a very one tone monotone dress when you just do it in one thing, like a taffeta. But it's a dress with a lower calf or evening length, has close fitted bodice, dirndl skirt with side front seams, no side seams, 
back zipper and short sleeves. A, view A has a single layer sash with wrong side showing and view B has a contrast overskirt. View C has attached boat. This is a pattern from 1986. I actually kind of like this. It's a little oversized, but I like the option that it has here with the full skirt or the sheath. A pullover dress with a button bodice with extended shoulders, self-lined back yoke, a forward shoulder seams, shoulder pads, notch collar, elastic in the waistline seam casing, and long sleeves pleated on button cuffs. Straight skirt for view A with a back vent and full gathered skirt with a view B have pockets in the side seams. This was a popular pattern. There were two of these. I like the asymmetrical skirt. So it's a it's a dress. It is loose fitting with a pullover dress below mid calf or lower calf, has a neckline variation, extended shoulders, shoulder pads, back neck slip with a button and a loop and slightly flared or flared skirt. Very cute. Here's another one with a jacket. I like these jackets that they have. So it's a Mrs. Petite jacket, skirt and blouse. It's semi fitted, lined above the hip, has a notch collar, slightly extended shoulders, shoulder pads, side front and side back seams, and long sleeves. A line skirt is below mid calf or lower calf, has a waistband, front pleats, back gathers, side pockets, and back zipper. Loose fitting pullover blouse has a mock neck and shoulder bands, button shoulder closure, closing, long sleeves with button cuffs and stitched hem. Here is another. This is a woman's dress from 1987. It's a straight double breasted dress, mid calf or below mid calf, has a notch collar, slightly extended shoulders, shoulder pads, very loose fitting blue sawn, back bodice, partially elastic waist, and skirt with a side front and side back seams, no side seams, and above elbow or three quarter length sleeves with cuffs. It's cute. This one is most different. This is a 1987 pattern, and I really like this bubble hem skirt. A loose fitting dress with above mid knee has extended shoulders, shoulder pads, skirt with side front and side back seams, no side seams, and straight uh, and stay back zipper and short or long sleeves. This is a Morton Miles. Again, this is a very different dress from all the other silhouettes that I had. I really liked this skirt. Very, very 80s. It's a dress with a lower calf at the back, has a slightly cut in shoulder, shoulder pads, loose fitting, lined, shaped bodice, bow with flower, self lined skirt with stiffening and underskirt, back zipper, and above elbow or long sleeves with stiffening and pleats at cap. This was a not so pretty one. I am not really sure how you could adapt this look to meet today's standards, but. This is a pullover dress with a shaped dropped waistline, has a, bo a buttoned bodice, bust darts, trim collar variations, sleeve heads, shoulder pads, gathered skirt with side seam pockets, sleeves with gathered caps and are gathered into cuffs. And last but not least, this is the only wedding dress pattern that I had in the stash. This is a simplicity pattern from 1990, so it's one of the newer patterns. Uh, it's a Mrs. Petite bride and bridesmaid dress. Fitted dress with very full circular skirt, has a sweetheart neckline, princess seaming, and back zipper. Floor length version 1, 2, and 3 have front and back yoke and full gathered sleeves. Version 1 and 2 with a train and lace applique have back bow and lace trim. Version 1 has a long fitted lower sleeve with loop and button closing. Version 3 and 4 have purchased rose trim and their knee length. Version 4 has pleated off the shoulder drape. So if anyone needs an 80s wedding dress, here you go. I got the pattern for you. I'm very excited to sort through all these 80s patterns. So I received 74 patterns in total and they all range from 1977 to 1992. Most of these patterns are from the 1980s. The majority were from 1985 and 1986. If you've seen my sewing room tour, then you probably know that I already purchased a bunch of vintage patterns while I was home. So this will only add to my stash. I'm hoping to be able to get rid of a few by listing them on eBay. So keep your eye out. If any of these have caught your attention, let me know. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time.